Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Prophetic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Coding Native version 3 REST API development. This is our part 8. Inside this video session guys, we will see about using XSS Clean with Boost Data. In the last video, we had seen that how can we use form validation library to validate our form data. So, in that video, we had seen that we have two ways to submit our data with a POST API type. If I back to editor, now we have if I back to our index POST, so we have two ways. Either we can pass our POST data inside our body parameters or inside form data. So, when we use form data, so in that, inside that condition, we can use form validation library to validate our post data. So inside this video, we are going to use a method called XSS clean method. This is called cross site scripting method. This is used to this is used for the property or let's say for the security purpose. So if I back to slides, open a new tab. So we are going to use a method called XSS clean and this is a method. This is the method means inbuilt feature of the code igniter which is provided by our library called security. So if we want to use this method then we have to firstly load about the security library. So this is how we can load. So this load something library and inside this we have to write security. Now after using the security library, now we can access about the security method. So this is something security and XSS clean method. This is cross site scripting. So here we have a question. Question is that what is the basic use of this method? The basic use, let's say that we are going to submit our post data. Inside submitted post data, let's say we have some scripts. Now inside name, we have passed some let's say style or script tag. So to get rid of those scripting tags, we are going to use this method. This method automatically takes care of those data what we have passed with the submitted data. So simply to understand let's say that inside data we have a value and this value contains a script tag so let's say that script tag someone has submitted and inside this we have simply alert and it's I am running this is the data actually submitted by using this data variable so we are getting via post method and just we have to pass this variable inside this method now this method automatically takes care what the value are coming inside this variable. So let's see about the action of this method. So back to our editor and now let's see that here we are just getting our post data via postman. So we are going to use the access clean method right here. So firstly before using that we have to load. So why not we are going to use an array inside that the first library we have form validation and the second library we are going to use called the security so back to post method now inside here I am going to wrap this let's say here this let's say security and here we have a method called xss clean method and I am to pass our name variable inside that again for the email let's say that this security access clean method and here we have to pass email in the another way we are just saying that we are just going to sanitize our inputs so let's say this security xx clean method and I am to pass the mobile number and for the course let's say this security and passing our course variable now if we save all these changes back to postman 
Now as we can see that this is the API URL, post request type, header is something our form data because in the last video, so back to body section, this is our form data so no need to worry about content type. And inside body, here is the form data we are submitting. So we, if we change the values, something let's say sunil at gmail.com and something we are passing a dummy mobile number and let's say sample 4 as a course name. So before submitting this data, if we back to our database table and inside this TPL underscore students, right now we have 4 and 37 total 7 number of records we have. So back to postman, click on send button and we have some error and this is seems to be internal server errors. So firstly, let me check that. So if I scroll down to see about the exact error what we are getting, so this is known as unable to load the request class security. So if I back to editor, now inside this successfully we have loaded our security library inside this construct function. So I think that according to documentation, before using this XX clean method, actually this is not as a library, this is I think inbuilt helper inside code igniter. So let's load about this load and let's say helper. Inside this, if we pass about the security and save all these changes, back to postman and if I click on send button, now as we can see that a student has been created. So as the class security is a helper in code igniter, so before using this, we have to load helper and the security by loading this helper actually we can access about a method from this helper. This is according to documentation security is not our library it's a helper okay. So if I back to our table reload this page and inside this table if you find about the data and that is this is the data what we have saved. So let's see that what is the basic use of using that method means acts as a clean method. So back to postman and if I back to our body parameters and let's say that again if I pass any data and inside this data let's say that we are going to save a style tag. So let's say style and let's say style here. And again, if I back to our code editor and let's say that I am to remove this access clean method from this name variable. Okay, so back to postman, click on send button. Now a student has been created. Back to our DB table, reload this page, ignore all. And if we go at the top, so as we can see that with the 12th number of data, this is the name means with the style tag we have saved. This is a security issue. We have to encode this style tag because this is cross-site scripting language. This is a script. So we need to escape before saving this data to our database table. So that's why we have used call. So if I undo these changes, save all these back to our table and before that let's say that if we change about the data and let's change the email address save this data a student has been created back to our table reload this page and if you go at the top now as we can see that this is what we are getting the value after using about x as as clean method now it has encrypted all the script tags what we have passed inside our post data. So in the previous data we have saved our script tags inside data which causes a security issue. Now to avoid that we have to use a security helper for that our method for called X as a screen method. So all we have seen inside this video that how can we use this method to avoid our security issues. 
So inside this video session guys, if you have any doubt, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.